Hi everyone, I'm Stella from Stella's Yarn Universe. In this crochet tutorial, I will show you how to crochet a little bird. This here is Bernard the Blackbird, one of my garden friends, which I call all the animals who come to visit me in my garden. And he's a blackbird, but of course you can use this pattern to crochet any kind of bird you like. I will crochet him in white this time so that you can actually see what I'm doing. But feel free to use any color that you like. Be creative and have fun with it. For this pattern, we need a 2.5 millimeter hook. And this is the equivalent to uh, something in between a B1 or a C2. So you can use e either one depending on how small you'd like your bird to be. If you like it to be even smaller, you can go for a B1, or if you like it to be slightly larger, you can go for a C2. And also it depends on how tightly you crochet. So if you crochet really tight stitches, you might want to go for a C2. But if you tend to crochet quite loosely, I'd go for a B1 for a smaller size hook. Then, we need yarn in your preferred color in a DK or light worsted weight. And I love to use cotton yarn. Then we need a very small amount uh, of the same yarn in orange for the beak. And we need a tapestry or a darning needle. some pins to pin the wings in place later. Then we need some stuffing, a stitch marker, some safety eyes. I'm using four millimeter safety eyes. So in inches, I believe I believe that's a 0 0.16 inches. Scissors. And then for the feet, we need thin craft wire. If you like, you can also use pipe cleaner if you prefer. I just like to use this fine wire. It's 0 0.2 millimeter um, thick or thin. And we need about um, a 70 centimeter long piece, which is 28 inches. And then you might need a tape measure to, to measure it later on. We start with our main color yarn and we begin with a magic ring. If you need a more detailed tutorial on how to make a magic ring, you can find one right there in the upper right corner where I'll link to it. So into the magic ring, we single crochet six. And I'm using American terms for this tutorial, but uh, if you're used to British or Australian terms, you can just replace the single crochet with double crochet. And everything. And there are no other stitches that I'm using besides that. It's four, five, and six, and pull the end tight. So that's round number one complete. I always loosen up the first stitch of the round a bit before I begin the second round because it's usually really tight and difficult to crochet. So in round number two, we're going to decrease, uh, sorry, increase. So, we single crochet two in each stitch.
one. Eleven, twelve. So now we've got twice as many stitches in our round. And I'm going to use my stitch marker now because I just don't want to use count. Just put it in the last stitch here. Now in round number three, we keep increasing. So now we single crochet one and then increase into the next one. One, and two, and the second stitch, and the next one again. We single crochet and the next one we increase. So we single crochet two and the same. And we repeat this six times in total so that by the end of the round we will have 18 stitches. My round number three is complete now so I have a round of 18 stitches now. And in the next four rounds, so round four to seven, we'll simply single crochet these 18 stitches without any increases. So feel free to pause the video here and hit play once you completed the next four rounds or round seven. I completed round seven now, so I crocheted four rounds of single crochet without any increases. And now in round eight, we keep increasing. So this time we single crochet two, one, two, and then we increase in every third stitch. So single crochet two in each third. And one, two, and increase. And we repeat this six times, so by the end of the round we will have a stitch count of 24. Oops. Last increase of the round. And that's round number eight complete. And in round nine we continue increasing. So this time we single crochet three. One, two, three, and increase in every fourth stitch. So we have 24 stitches now and by the end of the round we will have 30 stitches. And the last increase of the round. So Round number nine is complete. And in round number 10, we increase further. So this time we single crochet four. Two, three, four. And then we increase in every fifth stitch. So this will turn our round of 30 into a round of 36. One, two, three, four, 
two, three, four, and increase. And the last increase. Now I'm going to secure my stitch because next I want to attach the eyes and the beak. So let's start with the beak. This is really quick and easy. So we just make a slip knot. And then we chain two. And then we make two slip stitches in the first chain, the second chain from our hook. Another slip stitch. And that's it. Break the yarn and pull it through and here's our tiny beak so now we can attach the beak and what we need to pay attention to is that the stitch marker that secures the last stitch of our round now should be on the right so the face is facing us and the stitch marker so the end of our round should be on the right side just so the pattern works out and then I just decide which side of the beak should go up. Go for this side and then I start with the left end, which in this case is the tail end. Just thread it onto the needle and then determine where to stitch it through. Um, I place the beak in between the fifth and sixth round. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Then I just need to make sure that it's 90 degrees from the stitch marker. So let's stitch through here and then see how it looks. That's one side. Then thread the other end, the working end under your needle and just stitch it through the next gap right there so let's see how that looks yeah that looks right to me i think this will be fine but anyway i'm not securing it just yet first I attach the eyes so this is really up to you where you'd like the eyes to go I usually just experiment a bit with it but I definitely I think I'm gonna place them in the same between the same rows so be between round five and six like the beak Yeah, I think I'll go with that. So just secure the eyes now. So this rounded side goes onto the inside of the... The eyes are secured now. So now I'm just gonna tie these two ends together on the inside. And then I'm just gonna just gonna cut the ends shorter. And now we can continue crocheting. 
So we're done with increasing now. So the next four rounds, round 11 to 14, we'll simply single crochet our 36 stitches. So once again, you can pause the video here and hit play once you completed round 14. So that's four rounds of single crochet without any increases or decreases. My four rounds of 36 single crochet are complete now. And now in round 15, we start to decrease. We only decrease on the front side. So we first single crochet 18. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, and eighteen. So now We'll make an invisible decrease. If you need a more detailed tutorial on this, I'll link one to it in the upper right corner. But basically, you just single crochet the next two front loops together. So that's one decrease and then we single crochet one and we make another invisible decrease. Insert in the front loop. Oh, the ice cream van, it's the ice cream van. Yay. So <laughs> decrease and single crochet. Another decrease, so we insert our hook in the front loop of the next stitch and in the front loop of the stitch next to it. Pull the yarn through and pick it up again and pull it through the two remaining loops. And a single crochet. Another invisible decrease. So that's number four now. single crochet, a fifth invisible decrease, a single crochet, and then we make a sixth invisible decrease. and single crochet in the last stitch. So now we have a stitch count of 30 and in the next round, round 16, we begin with single crocheting 15. So one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 
13, 14, 15. And now we start decreasing again. So, one invisible decrease. single crochet and have the invisible decrease and a single crochet invisible decrease and single crochet a fourth invisible decrease and a single crochet and the last invisible decrease crochet in the last stitch and that's round 16 complete now in round 17 we single crochet 7 1 2 3 4 Five, six, seven, and then we increase in the next two stitches. So the next two stitches should be more or less on the back. Increase one and increase the second one. Then we'll single crochet seven again. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, and now we make an invisible decrease again. And single crochet one. Another invisible decrease Oh, he's back Guys, I'm missing the ice cream van for you That's how much I love you <laughs> One single crochet And a third invisible decrease and a single crochet in the last stitch and that's round number 17 complete now in round 18 we start with 18 single crochet so one two three four five six 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, and eighteen. So now we should have six stitches left. One, two, three, four, five, six. Perfect. So we'll make three invisible decreases, one after another. That's one. That's two. And the last one. So that's round 18 complete. This was part one of three of the Little Bird Amigurumi tutorial. Thank you so much for crocheting along with me so far. Now make sure to click the video in the upper right corner to watch part two so we can continue crocheting our little bird. See you there!